Hey guys, so today we are doing the cutie series, uh, the cutie Halloween series, cutie vampire cat, cutie vampire bat, cutie tombstone as finger puppets. Woo! So you can do finger puppets in felt, you can do finger puppets in vinyl, you can do finger puppets um, in a whole bunch of different material. Um, I prefer felt for my finger puppets. So what are you gonna need? You're gonna need a piece of medium weight cutaway. Oops. And by the way, all the finger puppets work the same way, so I'm only gonna shoot one finger puppet video, because, you know, uh, but refer to your PDF and your color stitch sheet to see when, where, what, how. Um, you're gonna need two pieces of for um, finger puppets. They're in a four by four hoop or 100 centimeter by 100 centimeter. So four and a half by five inch pieces of felt. And also, um, on my finger puppets, I like to put a lining just before um, the last two steps so that when you shove your finger up there, your finger's not all rubbing against the um, inside stitches. And when you pull your finger out, you don't, you know, get caught on threads and everything. So you might want a little piece of Ollie Fun for part of that. So what do we do? We hoop up a piece of medium weight cutaway and we throw it in the machine. And as always, we always run Color Stop 1 just on the cutaway. Um, so that we have a die line for felt placement. Back in a second. Okay guys, so we have run our die line for the cutie vamp finger puppet. And now we are going to float some black felt right over. We're gonna make sure that our die line is completely covered all the way around. Then we are going to run color stop two, which is the eyes, three, which are like ears and eyebrows, four, which is the white pupils and the fangs, and then five um, is the mouth. And then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. So go ahead and run two, three, four, and five. Ooh, there's my kitty cat. So we are up to step, color stop six. All right, we are going to flip this guy over and we're going to attach a piece of Ollie Fun to the back for my finger puppet. And we're just gonna tape it here and here. We are going, it says dark teal, we are going to run that color stop six in the same gray as all of the other details. Back in just a second. Okay, so here we are, and you will see that he, on his finger, on the vampire cat finger puppet, it's done this bottom right here, and only tacked it, except that you can't see because I did <laughs> black ollie with black bobbin thread, yarg. Sorry, uh, can you? Yes, there you go, you can see that. It's only done this right here. We're gonna put it back in the machine and we're going to do color stop seven in black. Color stop seven is going to do um, a finger um, pass through down here to make the cat, yeah, you'll see. Actually, yeah, back in a second. Just on color stop seven, black top thread, run seven, we'll be back for eight. <laughs> okay, so what we've done now is um, because this down here where his legs are are so narrow, I've added this little black piece right here for the finger puppet so you can get a good two fingers up in there, but you're not gonna be able to see it. Um, it doesn't interfere with the design itself because it's in uh, black stitching on black felt. Now we are going to go ahead and attach the back. So you'll need another piece of felt and you wanna make sure that you're covering your design. And we are going to run color stop eight in that same gray, which is going to do the top of the cat, and then you're gonna to change to black for nine because it's gonna come down and do these sides. So we will be back after um, eight in gray, doo -doo -doo -doo, and then nine in black, and I'll show you how to trim out and put some fingers in. Ooh, looky there, our kitty cat is all done. So what you wanna do is you wanna check for jumps and um, tie-offs, you wanna trim off those hairs while they're still in the hoop so you've got some nice positive tension to hold um, the work in place while you trim. Yes, yes. Now we're gonna unhoop. Yay! And we're gonna take our very, well, that's a straight line and we all know how I love cutting straight lines. 
So we are going to take our roto cutter, and I know it's black on black, and it's a cloudy day, and how am I going to line that up? But I'm good. There we go. Now, the rest of this bad boy, <laughs> we're gonna cut with scissors. And it's a raw edge, most finger puppets are. And you wanna cut a nice one eighth of an inch consistently, just like on a fob, all the way around. Good lighting is key. Go slow and steady. Follow the leader. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna turn. And we're gonna come back up. Ooh, his ear's gonna be in the way. It's, ah, yeah. Slow and steady. I probably should have fussy cut this, but I didn't. And now I'm having to fight all this. So we're just gonna cut it off. <laughs> go away. There we go. Oh, I don't like how that looks. So I'm gonna turn him I need there. And I can hear Chris going, oh my God, perfectionist. Really? Yes. Sharp scissors are the key. And we can come down here and nice straight. Woo! There we go. Ooh, I don't like that. Yeah, I like that much better. There we go. There's our Halloween kitty finger puppet. Meow. 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 